So everyone, welcome to Koyim Kol Shira and Bezel Befradet, Baruch Hashem. Uh, well, we're going to do our Chonus for Shabbos, Mitzvah Hashem. And, uh, well, uh, we're, we're in Eretz Yisrael, we're in Parshas, uh, we're, we're in Parshas Baloischa, uh, uh, but our friends in, in the diaspora, they are in Parshas Nasai. Right? So, okay. We have to we have to accommodate, right? <clears throat> We're going to accommodate. So, uh, listen. Uh, you know, um, another thing that we have over here in Eretz Yisrael is that we have uh, Birchis Kahanim every day, right? Uh, uh, listen, yeah. uh, uh, you have Birchis Kahanim also in 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 Kutzlaris, but not but not from Kahanim necessarily, right? Mm-hmm. So, so this is something that you have in the parsha. One of the most beautiful things is also the bracha. Of the Birchus Gadim. So maybe we'll learn a little bit about that because, again, it's something that, that you know, we hear all the time and maybe let's understand the Kavana behind it. What is it and, and how does it and how, and how does it work and how can it help us? So, so here we go. We, we, have the, we have the famous words of, of, uh, of uh, Yashem Panav Elecha Vichunecha, right? What? Yeah, this is the middle pasuk. Yeah, yeah, the middle pasuk. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but let's see. Ikra avodis ha'adam ma'aris panav yisbarach. The whole point in the world of a of a person is lahamshich to draw and to illuminate in the world ha'aris panav yisbarach to 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 make a kiddush Hashem, right? To make a kiddush Hashem in the world ha'aris panav k'may shenemar. Bakshu pan of tamits. Always search out, search out pan of tamit. Hashem, so you want to find Hashem. Really, oh, you can also say find Hashem in everything. Vikar bakoshes pan of yisbarachu. Aidei she kol echad medaber im chaveri beyirish shemayim bechol pam. Each person has to talk to their friends, and they have to help it, 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 to help that there should be more yirish shemayim in the world, right? Yerushalayim is the first thing, like we say, Reishis Chachma, right? Right? We talk in the morning, Reishis Chachma, Yerush Hashem, Seichel Toiv L'Chol right? That's the main thing. So we have to talk about that, to realize that the, the, the recognition of Hashem in the world, recognition, right? The world, see, the world seems to, 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 shun, to shun away from Hashem today. The world doesn't like Hashem, right? The world says it's all, it's all about the government, it's all about the, you know, the politics and all of that. And there's no mention of Hakadosh Baruch Hu anymore, but that's upon us. It's upon us to bring to, to bring Hakadosh Baruch Hu into the world. And I, I only wish that you know the, the governments over here within in Eretz Yisrael would do that also. I mean, I, I was spoiled the other day. They told me that they, they moved the the the, the yeshiva, the Chomish yeshiva over there. Remember that famous uh, the famous yeshiva that they made them move because. Because uh, there was uh, they, 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 the Arabs claimed it was their land, right? Rabbi Yehuda, they claimed it was. Is it they claimed the it was. The, the, what? Did they send the Chomish? Yeah, the Chomish. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what they did was on Matzah Shabbos, they did Matzah Shabbos. They, they, they. Uh, there, was, there was a lot of fundraising, Baruch Hashem, and they hired these big, big, big trucks. I don't know if you saw this, and they moved. They moved the trailers. They moved the trailers onto state land. It wasn't. There wasn't. Uh, you know. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, disputed. It's not disputed. It's state land. So what happens? Mr. Biden has to say we're really troubled by you moving the sh- moving the school there. <laughs> yeah. What's his business? His whole country's falling apart. America's falling apart, and he's worried about them setting up a yeshiva. Can you believe this? Is that amazing? You heard this, right? I'm not right. Yeah. You, you heard this, right? Yeah. They, 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 what? <laughs> a couple of guys want to learn and they can't learn. Unbelievable. So we have to bring more years Hashem into the world. Every day. Every day we get up in the morning and we have a new feeling. Yeah, you know, every morning you get up, you feel a little bit different, right? Right. Every morning, Ernie, you get up in the morning, you don't feel the same yeah. every morning, right? You feel a little. Different, there's something. Yeah. You have a different. You have a different thought. You, 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 you have a different feeling. Something's always there's something special in the day. 
So that's called the Nekuda Kedosh that comes to us every single day. Something special comes to us every day. And, and that's HaKadosh Baruch Hu giving us He's showing us his love every single day. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us this Nekuda Kedosh, this holy Nekuda that comes to us. And it's upon us to, you know, we're supposed to always talk to our friends. Like, like we say, we're supposed to come to Bain Dain Ledain, right? We're supposed to talk, like we say in the Volatzian, right? We talk about this. And we're supposed to have a good, heartfelt conversation with friends. It's a very, very important thing to do. To have a good, heartfelt conversation with a friend. And, and again, you talk about, you talk to talk about Yiras Hashem. This is the greatest thing that we can, the recognition of HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world. Because we have something special in each one of us that we're Mamash Tzadik. There's something, everyone has something special, right? Everyone has their special mitzvah that they do. Everyone has their special thing that they do. And the way they, they do that, they're tzaddik in that way. Isn't that so beautiful? And if you have trouble with understanding that, look at the first Mishnah in Perky Yavis. What does the Mishnah say? The Amech Kulam Tzadikim. Right? The Amech Kulam Tzadikim. The Mishnah says we're all, all Jews are tzadikim. But, but is that true? Sure, there's an aspect of every Jew that is a tzaddik. There's an aspect. There's something special about each Jew. Even a Jew that's not showing material mitzvahs, but, but, but the person may be so caring when he talks to other people. He may be so caring when he, de- he deals with his parents. Who knows? He may give a lot of tzedakah. We don't know. Everyone does something something so special. But ama- amazing. Bechinas tzaddik. Be bechinas p'nei Hashem. Bechinas tzaddikaya. Anfei, anfei shechina. Anfei shechina. The, 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 is, which is, which is, so to say, this is the face of the street, and we know that the all of nefesh klal yisrael, ne, nefesh klal yisrael, all of the nefashes of klal yisrael together make up the shechina kedusha. That's the shechina. Ki hu b'mechina sachelik eliki mi shemimal sheyesh bechol echad mi yisrael. We know every single year has a neshama, right? That's what keeps us alive. We have a neshama, right? That neshama we know is a chelik yali kami It's a it's a it's a piece of God. It's a, it's a piece of godly, godliness. The chelik yali kami is a piece of the rabbi shlom mamish in every single Jew. Yesh a chelik yali ki yali kami mal sheyesh bechol echad mi yisrael. Every Jew. Val kenai days eshe mishtadlin bezeh. Therefore, if you talk to the other guy, you help him, and he helps you. He knows if you want HaKadosh Baruch Hu to show you his face, his countenance, right, his life in the world with Ahava, so what we have to do is we have to be friends with everyone else. We have to be friends. We have to talk to people. We have to help people. And then HaKadosh Baruch Hu be your Pana. Amazing. There's in every single Jew. Every Jew has good points. And then we can mix the two points. He, he'll talk about his thing and he'll talk about his and he'll awaken this in him and he'll awaken this. Like we mentioned a moment ago. And then, then you, can, you can increase and you can cause more chain. More chain. Uh, I don't know if there's an English translation for chain. Uh, is there, Rabbi Huda? Do you have an English translation? What? Charm. Charm. Okay, there we go. Charm. Visparus. Well, I think it's more than charm, but okay. All right, that's a good, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good translation. Uh, Visparus. And, and, and splendor shall, kla, shall Yisrael of all Jews. These, these good points that are in each and every single Jew. That's the main point, the main charm, the main splendor, the main, the main beauty in all Jews. That's the main thing. What we have, which is, which is you, know, you, know, uh, you, know, we, we, you know, when you go to a Levaya, right, everyone. But, but, you know, so what do they talk about? They never say, hey, this guy made a lot of money. Oh, he was a very successful businessman. You never talk about that. Well, you talk about the guy, he, 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 was, a, he was a big Baal Tzedakah. You talk about the good points, right? That's the main thing. That's the main thing. 
we, 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 we get carried away in, in, in life and we think we talk about, you know, oh, this guy's more successful than him and did this one, this and that. But is that really what counts? What counts is when, 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 what mitzvahs we did, how a person keeps his Shabbos, how a person is, he enjoys his Yom Tovim, right? How, he, how he's mamish mikadosh to Yom Tov, how he's mikadosh to Shabbos. That's it. Bebechines Yisrael, and HaKadosh Baruch says, Bebechines Yisrael asher becho espoya. Right? The Gemara says that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wears tefillin, right? Right? The, the, the Gemara tells us that. And what does it say in the Rabbi Yisrael tefillin? Yisrael asher becho espoya. HaKadosh Baruch takes his, his pirates. He takes his the pride, his delight in Klal Yisrael. And more than we speak to one another. In Yira Shemayim, through the Nekudas Taivas, through the good points, Meir and Yaisa brings more light into the world. That shows more beauty and, and delightfulness in Kla Yisrael. These are the words that we say in, 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 in the, the, the Kahanim say that what does the words mean? Yahashem Ponav Elecha. Kodesh Baruch Hu should illuminate his face to you. It should be a mamish with a chain. It should be with a chain. It should be mamish with a chain. Vichu Nek. Unbelievable. So in other words, when we when we show caring to one another, right? How do you show caring to one another? You bring out the good points in everybody, in your friend. You, you tell over your friend how nice he's davening, how nice the person's learning. You tell over good things. You tell over good things, and he tells you good things. So that causes HaKadosh Baruch Hu to take his spirits. And that, like, like we said, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Asher b'cho espar. I tell, HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes his delight in Klal Yisrael. So when we, when we talk to, in Yeras Hashem to one another, and we bring out the Nekudas Tavis in one another. That causes HaKadosh Baruch Hu to shine His light, His countenance on Klal Yisrael. And what more things do we want than that? What more can we want than that? It's unbelievable, you know, the, 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 this, this, the, the, these concepts that, 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 we, that we can do. Whereas we can cause the bracha upon ourselves. You understand this, Ernie? You, we can cause the bracha right. by being the nice, awesome. by being good to one another. By, 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 by lifting people up. And again, it's again, it's like he keeps saying, it's the year of Shemayim. Again, you have to realize, you, you have to do it in a way that, 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 you know, it has to be correct. Year of Shemayim. By doing that, Mamish, you can bring, you can bring the beautiful chain to Klal Yisrael. So it's, it's, a, it's a, a beautiful idea. And I, I wanted to share this idea with you. We can see the next piece also, the Samuel Shemi. Right, we have a we have a wonderful kayan. We have a wonderful kayan that comes to our Nate's minion every day here. And uh, he, he, you know, he 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 wanted to know every morning. I make sure to thank him for coming to the minion because if he doesn't come to the minion, we don't have birchas kadim, right? You can only have the birchas kadim. The kayan's there, right? <laughs> Nobody, no one else can go up, right? So, so he, 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 want, he wanted to know, he wanted to know, like, uh, like well, why am I so happy that he came? Because it says, V'somwa shemi al b'nei Yisrael v'ani avrachem. If the Kayan is going to place, he's going to place his name. If HaKadosh Baruch plays, if the, the Kayan places HaKadosh Baruch's name on Klai Yisrael, then Hashem says, I'll bless them. So there's the Kayan, he does his part, but Hashem says, if you're going to do your part, then I'm going to give you the bracha. You understand that? It's amazing. It's mamish an amazing thing. The Kayan gives the bracha of his Samuel Shemi al B'nei Yisrael. Place my name on Klal Yisrael. Al B'nei Yisrael. That's what the Kayanim do. Right? They pick up their hands and they, they make the bracha. Right? You make, right? They make the bracha. They make the bracha. And then they, and they, and they, say, the, and they say these beautiful words. By saying these words, by saying these words, we cause, we cause that the HaKadosh Baruch will give the bracha to them. Unbelievable. And you give the bracha to the coin too, right? What's uh, give that? Give the bracha to the coin too. 
Well, we don't. We, no, the kahanim give us the brachas. No, we can. I, I, what I do is I make sure I make sure to thank the kahanim for coming to shul <laughs> and giving me the bracha because and Hashem, and, and Hashem recognizes that oh, the Torah is giving us. Of course, the of course. Well, that's what we say. Well, Ernie, if you take it. Ernie, if you take out your, 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 if you have your arts called city, you can take a look at the mm-hmm. translation in Birchas HaTorah. Mm-hmm. We say it every morning. Mm-hmm. You place, you place my name on the Jewish people. Who does that? The Kayin. And I will bless Klal Yisrael. I will do it. Unbelievable. Okay. Hey. Excuse me. Okay. Habrachas mesurais la kahanim. The brachas were given over to the kahanim. Kiyem bechina shay mayabris. The kahanim we know are the ones that that are that are that are most that are the most pure, right? We know that the a kohen can't marry. He can't marry an almana or a grusha, right? A kohen can't marry. He can't marry a giyiris, right? A kohen's not allowed to marry a giyiris, right? But a, a, a regular Jew can, right? If a lady, if a lady, it becomes a convert, right, Ernie? A lady becomes right. a convert, you know, by 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 again by 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 kedas v'kedin. I'm not talking about you know one of these uh, male o, one of these mail order conversions, right? They go to the bezdin, they do it the right way. So any Jew, any Jew can marry this lady except for a koyin. A koyin can't marry her. The Kayan can't marry her because then again, because the Kanim are on a different are on a different plateau. Right? Right, Ernie, like for example, if right. another Jew right. wants yeah. a, if, if a Jew wants to marry a widower, he can. A regular Yisro, a lady can marry can marry a, a, a widower, it's no problem. Mm-hmm. Or even a divorcee, it's no problem. Mm-hmm. No problem. But a Kayan cannot. Because the Kahanim have a special is status of Shoimre Habriz. Because we know that the Kahanim really came from the late Levium, right? They came, they, uh, Aharon was first, he was first a, a Levi, and then he became, HaKadosh Baruch made them Kahanim, right? And we know that the Levium, they were not involved, were not involved in the Cheda Ego, Remember? Right, the golden calf, the, the the sin of the golden calf, the Levium were not involved in that. They did not involve themselves in that. Because they didn't make the mistake in the golden calf. So Ayyu Bikinas Pagama Bris. Khazal say, what was the whole point? Why did they want why did they want to have the eagle in the first place? Why was the perp why did they want the eagle? Because they wanted to, to, to be over on the riots. Right? They wanted to do illicit things. Right? You know, the Torah, and Moshe, and Hashem said, you can't uh, do these things. Oh, but if we, we have, uh, but Moshe is not here, so that means uh, we can do what we want now. We need a new God. The new God will say we can do what we want. Amazing, right? Unbelievable. Mamish, the idea that the, 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 the Pagama bris is so strong. So strong. Shai Pagama Pagama Briss. Kamei Shai Mera Besein Nazar Layover Yisrael Avoy Dezorah Ella kide lahatir lohem arayas bifahesia. Look what Chazal say. Chazal say that the whole point, like I mentioned a moment ago, the whole point that any Jew, any time, would be over in Avedi Zara, why would he have done that? Ella kide lahatir lohem arayas bifahesia. Not only to do arayas, not to do illicit things, but to do a bifahesia. To do it in public. Amazing, right? Who would ever think that? Kikola Taivas of Bifrat Taivas near, because all of the Taivas, all the all the desires people have, but specifically the Taiva of Nia of, of, of adultery and of, 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 of relay relationships like that. Shahu Ra Hakoilo shall call a Taivas. That is the Ra, that is the 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 the, the, the uh, uh, the, uh, the the wickedness, the evilness, the evilness that's coil that's that's all inclusive of all of the tivus together, right? Some people have tivus kinna, 
Taivas COVID, Taivas Maman, right? All the different kind of Taivas, right? People have a desire, they, 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 they're jealous, and then this one, this one is, 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 wants more honor, this one wants more money, right? All these different things, right? Taivas Achila, right? All these different things, food, and wine, and all these different, the different things. But what's the one that's the greatest of all them? Akoilo Kola Taivas? That's the taiva of me. If that's the taiva of 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 of, of the of this idea, heim boyim mishviras klei achesed kliyadua. You know the Torah says the Torah says that every time, uh, 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 every time by you know when we read when we read on on Yom Kippur, right? So you can't have this relationship. You can't have this one. Why chesed who? Right? The Torah says that. Right, Rabbi Yehuda, chesed who? It's a chesed. It's a strange thing. Why is that a chesed? What, what, what's the chesed? A chesed is, is, uh, is, is, you know, is a kind act. A chesed is something special, nice, right? So mishfir is clay a chesed because, again, it's the misused chesed. It's the misplaced chesed. All right? Clay a chesed is the, bra- the bra- it's breaking of the, the kalim of chesed kayadua. And that comes from the Ahav, the Taiva, that comes from the, from the fallen relationships, the fallen loves, the love that was, has fallen. We know that the Kayan is the Ish Chesed. The Kayan is the antidote for this Chesed that went wrong, like we said, because the Kayan has to be very careful about about who the Kayan marries and who the relationships that the Kayanim have differently than everybody else. Because the Kayanim, the Kayanim were always in the Beis Amigdash, they were in the Mishka, in the Beis Amigdash, the Kayanim were always involved in eating, in, in eating, in eating Kaydish and in Hegdish, and the, 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 the Kayanim were, 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 were something, something special. They would eat. They would always eat from the for the from the from the carbonis, right? The chelik that went to the kain. They were eating it. They were always eating holy things, and they were always always in holy places amongst holy people. So if you have good friends, if you're amongst good people, and you're you're, you're in a good place, and you and you're eating holy good kosher food, so of course you're gonna you're gonna be holy, right? It's not that's not a big deal, right? That's that. That's that, that's understood. That's understood. broke the heart, right? Like Shvira, broke the heart, right? And that's <coughs> what? That's coffee. Excuse me. Oh no no no. That's okay. Let's see. Do I have the next? Do I, do I have the next page on this one? Let's see here. Let's see what I have here. Let's see. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think we're lucky here today. Good. Yeah. The chin is ticking our bris. Ayadeze yecholim lahamshich habracha. Therefore, the kahanim can bring the bracha because again, the, what are, we're saying. But what is the kahanim? The kahanim can bring the can bring bracha because they they they're, they're pure. So when you're pure, you can give bracha, right? The purity allows the person to bring the the, the kahan to bring the bracha. He kaleim shalik because they're kalim. We said that the, the the whole problem is 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 the is the is the brokenness of the klei hachesed, but the kahanim they have pure they have pure kalim. The kahanim have whole kalim shalim heipich bilam arasha sherotzel lahamshich klola ayadei kil kol hakikli. On Bilam Arasha wanted to break, break the kli. What did Bilam say? What did remember Bilam and Bullock? What did they say? They said, you know what? You go get your daughters, right? Go get your daughters, right? Bullock, right? He told this to the king, Melech, right? He was the king, right? He told him, go bring your daughters and go have them be Mazana with the Jewish people. What? The princess? The princess, right? Why right? was the princess? Right? Bullock was the king, so his daughter was one of the princess, right? So he, she, they should you take these girl, these ladies and have them do illicit things with the, with the Jewish people. That was his idea. That was Bilam's idea because he understood that HaKadosh Baruch Hu despises Zima. HaKadosh Baruch Hu despises that. And he saw that we could, he couldn't get any other way. So he tells them, do this. 
He wanted to bring Klal on Klai. So kill Klai, he wanted to break the Klai Achesed. Because we know that uh, we know that uh, uh, Bilam was involved in this taiva with his donkey. Remember, Bilam uh, used to have relations with his donkey. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine they would call the animal activist back then? My gosh, he would have been in big trouble, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe those guys are involved in it also. Maybe, maybe they would have been said it was okay. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Kamaycha Kasser Rabbeinu Allah Pasuk B'Torah Malay Mereyim Valke Nerag Bilam Ayadei Pinchas Taika. Now, how did Bilam get killed? Remember what happened? Pinchas, Pinchas went to battle, and Pinchas was the one that wound up killing Bilam. And what happened to Pinchas? Pinchas became what? A koyin. Remember. Pinchas became a Kayim. Pinchas wasn't a Kayim, but HaKadosh Baruch nicely nice as Brisi Sholem. HaKadosh Baruch gave to Pinchas his Brisi Sholem. What was the Brisi Sholem? The Kiddusha Sabris. Pinchas had that. I think said, Nerag Bilam Ayadei Pinchas Daika. He Pinchas Hayyem Bechinas Tikkun Abris, because Pinchas was the idea of being Masak in the Bris. Bilam was Pagama Bris. He was the one involved with, with, with defiling the Bris Kaidish. Pinchas was the antithesis against it. Pinchas was tikkun abris. By and that's how Pinchas was merited to become the koyin. By shekine kinas Hashem tzivokos al pagam habris. Because I could, because what 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 Pinchas did was he took he took the he took the matters in his own hands to defend Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Because again, remember what was going on over there, right? Right, the Nasi, the Nasi, right, Zim, Zimri, and Cosby, right, they, 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 they. he was the Nasi. And, and he took the spear and he stuck it through them. He didn't care. He didn't care. Why? Because he was, he was mechanic in his Hashem. He, he, he HaKadosh Baruch Hu was, was upset, was, was the, was the kinna, was the jealous, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so to say, kinnas Hashem, the jealousy of Hashem, the kinna of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, what are you doing, what are you doing this, you're supposed to be with me, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says you're supposed to be with me, you were, you were with me, I mean, we, last week it was just, it was, it was Shavuos, a few days ago, right, Shavuos, Kabbalah Satayra, right, Nerag Bilam Ayyadeh, okay, Shehaya Hafchay Mamish, he's, he transformed it. He transformed it, mamish. That's what 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 Pinch was able to do. Is that perish This is the way you bless. The Darsh Rabbeinu Zal, Mizeh Shetzarich Levarich B'Loshan Akodesh. You give the blessing in Loshan Akodesh in 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 the holy vernacular. Ki Koi Hu because the word Ko Hu Bechinas Hashchina Shehi Bechinas Malchus. The whole idea of ko is the is the idea of the shechina kedusha, which is malchus. Shu bechina shleimus lashon akodesh. Okay, veke birchus kehanim l'sakin akli shal yisrael. The main point of the kehanim is to constantly make the rectification of the kalim of the kalim of klal yisrael. What's the kalim of klal yisrael? Like we said, the klei achesed, and there was to keep us in the, to keep us holy. And they show us holiness with their example of, of, of what they do. So therefore we should be worthy to accept the brachas. Right? So we said the kahanim, they're working on their purity and they're working on their relationships and their things. Right? And because they're doing it, they give the bracha in Lashon HaKadosh. Right? They say, Kai Sivarku Kaf Hey. Right? Kai Sivarku. What is that? That's the Shechina, that's the Shechina, that's Malchus. So they're worthy to give the Brach, right? But now the Kahanim help us to become holy also, so we can be holy vessels, so we can accept the Brach, right? We can accept it, right? If you give them, if they're giving a Brach, but we don't have a, you know, like, like Ernie, if it would be raining outside, right? If it would be right. raining outside, and, and, and you have... And and you need to collect the you need to collect the water right you need water right, but 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 you had a a, a bucket that had holes in the bottom of it, right? Well, you had a flower pot you know a flower pot has a hole in the bottom of it right? Mm-hmm. So you stand you stand there you stand there with the bucket right you're getting wet but you're collecting the rain 
but all the water is running out the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's right. going out the bottom. So it's what it's, it's, I'm giving you that example for this. So we have to be a full kli ourselves, so we can accept. We, so we can accept the bracha. So the bracha can 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 be affected upon us. We want the bracha to affect us. So we have to work on our holiness. While you're working on our holiness, we can accept the brachas. So we should be worthy to accept the brachas. Place my name on Kalal Yisrael. What's he mean? Teach teach Kalal Yisrael about Hashem. Ki Hashem hu ha-nefesh. Hu ha-kli shalachiyas. Kamu v'divrei Rabbein Nezal. V'kutei Maran lesson uh, uh, 56 through the brachas they help fulfill our kalim like we said the clay the, the clay achesed shua shame va nefesh that's the name and the nefesh bechinas with some shemi shemi va yedei ze va ni avar chem ki memela tochol abrocha aleyem Mainly, the bracha will come, will be, will, 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 will be, uh, will be placed upon Klal Yisrael. I say to you, Kalim Ruuyim Lekabel, via our us being the kli that's worthy to accept it. It's a, it's an amazing concept over here that we're learning so far. So we learned the idea that we have to constantly talk to each other. We have to constantly be mechazik one another, be with with Yira Shemayim. That's the main thing. Talk to your friends with Yira Shemayim. Let them understand how, how you can explain to your friend, Shivisi Hashem Lenegdi Samin. Right? You talk to your friend. You know, when you're in shul, when you're in shul, you tell over to your friend, not during davening, before davening, after davening, not during davening. We don't talk during davening. Okay? <laughs> All right? And you, you explain to them, but you realize that Hashem is Mamash here with us? Hashem is with us. He wants us to live, He wants to hear what we have to say. Hashem wants to hear Shibisi Hashem. The, the Shulchan Aruch opens up with Shibisi Hashem, the Navy Summit. We have to remember, we have to remember, we have to know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu always wants to, wants to hear from us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to hear from us. This is what the Rabbi Yishlam wants from every Jew. He wants to hear. This is Yeras Hashem, recognition of Hashem. Why you're doing that? And when we talk to you, to, to, to one another, in such a way, HaKadosh Baruch Hu feels so compelled, he feels the aspirus, he feels the, 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 the splendor that he has for Klal Yisrael. So of course HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to give the bracha. And how does the bracha actually go? Because we said the Kehanim, the Kehanim, which are holy of Peter, which are, which are on a different level than Klal Yisrael. And they, they, they have the Brisi Shol, like Brinkas had the Brisi Sholem. Right, the shleimus, the the kalim that are sholim, so the kahanim are, are are on a higher level, so that way they can have a a, a, a kli that's mamish sholim, and if the ka, the kayan has a kli that's sholim because of their kedusha, so of course then they can they're worthy to give the bracha, and they teach klal yisrael that we have to be holy as well. By us being holy, the Kahanim are the teachers of Klai Yisrael. By the Kahanim helping Klai Yisrael, the Somo Shemi Abedei Yisrael, teach that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Mamish with Klai Yisrael. He's with you. And if you realize that Hashem Shivisi, Hashem Lenei Sam is with you all the time, so you're careful what you say, you're careful what you look at, you're careful who you speak to, you're careful how you talk, you're careful about everything. To make us a worthy kli, so that way we can accept the brachas that the Kahanim give us. There's a beautiful understanding of, of the brachas Kahanim. And we know that the first bracha, I'll tell you like this, you know, the first bracha we say, Yivarecha Hashem, V'yishmerecha, right? So, so, so Rashi says, Yivarecha Hashem is with, is with Maman, V'yishmerecha is Mina Mazikim. Remember that? Mina Mazikim. You, you should be saved from the Mazikim, right? You remember that? Rashi says that, right? Minamazikim. What are the mazikim? You know what the mazikim are? They're the demons. Demons. To be protected from demons. Do you remember how we, we learned through a story in the in the Kava Yosha of the of the of the of the Mayo? There was a Mayo. Do you remember that story, Rabbi Uda? We learned that from in the Kava Yosha a couple of years ago. Or maybe I'll just tell you over the story again. It's a my ridiculous story. There was a there was a there was a Mayo. There was a mayo that was a um, that was a uh, a, a kamsin. He was a very very uh, a stingy guy, a very stingy guy. 
he was a very wealthy man, but he was a very, very stingy guy. He was not able to give any money for tzedakah. But one thing he did do was, he's a, he was a mayal, right? He, was, he would do circumcisions. And he would do a circumcision for anybody, anytime, without any money. He wouldn't take money from them. But he wouldn't give out any money himself. You hear this? Might be the idea, right? <laughs> he wouldn't give out any money, but he was a mayal. So the story goes like this, that one day, one day, there was a village, there was a village of these mazikim. There was a village of these mazikim, of these uh, demons. And they, they, had a, they had a child. However this works, I don't know. They had a child. And the Kava Yosha brings the story. And, and the father, the Aviyah Ben of this, uh, of this, ma, of this uh, mazik, came to the house came to the house of this Mayo. He came to the house of the Mayo and he knocked on the door and he told the Mayo, he told the Mayo, I want, I, 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 need, I need a bris mila for my son. Wow, he heard you need a bris mila. Sure, I'll, 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 I'll make the bris mila. When is the bris? The bris is tomorrow. Where is it? Oh, it's in a faraway town. But I have my wagon over here and I'll take you and I'll bring you back. So he said, okay, fine. He said, it won't cost me anything, I'll go. <laughs> he was a cheapskate, right? So, so he, he, he took his little bag, you know, the Mayalo, the Mayalo always have that little, uh, their little satchel with all of their stuff in there, right? Their, 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 their little stuff. So he took his little satchel and he took his talus and filling, and he went, and he went in the wagon, and they were going and going and going and going, and they came to this very, very uh, quaint, a beautiful, quaint town. A beautiful, beautiful, quaint town. And when they came to the town, when they came to this town, uh, he stopped He stopped the wagon, and, uh, you know, he had some servants that came out to help them out of the wagon. And right, he had a beautiful home, and he, he, he invited the mail into his house, and, uh, and uh, he, he gave, he, he brought the mail up to, his ro- to a room, he gave him a beautiful room. You'll stay over here, and he told him that you know Mincha, you know Mayiv is going to be in a little bit, a little in about the in about an hour or two from the time they came there, okay? And uh, and uh, you'll join us. And then he said, you know, we're going to make, we're going to do a, a, a vachnach, and we're going to make a little, we'll make a little party. So you'll join us. You'll join us at, 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 the, at the party. So he said, okay, fine, fine. And then the, 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 this guy, the, the, the father, he left. And the, the Mayo, the Mayo was in this big house, was in this big house, and uh, he wanted to, he walked around, he wanted to see how, what was, he, it was an interesting place. And he sees, he hears, the, he hears the baby crying, he hears the baby crying. So he goes to the baby, where the baby's crying, and, and uh, it's, the mother's with the baby, of course. And the mother says to him, come in, come in. So he comes into the room. He didn't do anything wrong. He left the door open. There were other people in the house. Okay, right? There was no problem with Yichud or anything like that. He came into, he came into the room. And she told him, come close to me. I have to tell you something very important. She said, I want you to know that, uh, that my husband is not a regular person. He's one of the mazikim. He's one of these demons. And they grabbed me when I was a young boy, when I was a young girl, they chopped me. Now how did they chop me? They gave me something and I took it. And I took it. When you take something from a mazik, they own you. They own you. She said to him, listen, you're a nice man. And I'm so grateful you came to make the bris for my son. Don't take anything from my husband. Don't take anything from my husband. Don't take anything from any of the people here. Don't eat anything. Don't eat anything. Don't take anything. Just do the bris and leave. Wow. He never heard anything like this. He never heard anything like this. So he, uh, so he, uh, 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 he, he, um, uh, what do you call it? He, uh, he left the room. He left the room and he came to, and he came back to his room where he was staying. 
And the father, the father came back and told him it's time to go to Myrav now. Time to go to Myrav. So he went with him to Myrav. And after Myrav, they were sitting and they were making a lachai and they asked him to join him. He says, no, I can't, I can't, I can't join you. I can't join you because I have to go to sleep because I have to think about the bris and I, I don't want to drink anything or eat anything. You know, it's my minute. I don't eat and drink. Be, I, I have to go to sleep and I want to be awake and everything will be good for the morning. They said, okay, we understand. Okay, we understand. So he excused himself and he went back to the house and he went to sleep. In the morning, in the morning, he came, he came downstairs and they were getting ready for the bris mila, right? He went to Shachris, right? And he did the Vayoy Shashem and he did the, all, the, all the things, all the Minoy, everything he did, okay? And, uh, and uh, after the bris, after the bris, so the, so the father said, come now to the Mayal. You know, the Minig is the Mayal usually joins the Suda of the bris. So come join us at the Suda. He said, I can't, I can't, I can't join you at the Suda. Why? Oh, I had a terrible dream last night, so I took on the Tainus Chaloim. I took on, I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't, I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. So he said, all right, fine, fine. But sit with us. So he sat with them. In the middle of the meal, in the middle of the meal, the, the father said to him, listen, come with me. Come with me. It was, you know, it was in there in the house. Come with me. So he thought, hey, I'm going to be in trouble now. You know, the wife, the, his wife told him that he's a mazik, right? So he says, Shema Yisrael. He doesn't know. Maybe he's going to kill him. He has no idea. So he takes him. He takes him into a room. He takes him into a room. And this room, there's, uh, there's uh, uh, what do you call it? There's uh, 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 diamonds. Diamonds in this room. Diamonds and jewels. And all kind of beautiful things, precious stones. And he tells the Mayal, he says to him, you know, I'm so grateful that you came and you did such a beautiful job and I see you're such an Erlich Yid and, and, and that you made the bris mila for my son. Take any of the diamonds, any of the jewels you like. here. Take any of them that you see you like, take it. It's yours, I want to give you as a present. No, 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 I don't need it. I have a lot of jewels, I have a lot of things. I, I don't need it. All right, he takes him, he takes him now, he takes him to, to, he says, fine, okay, so he goes to the next room. In the next room, he has all these a, a, a beautiful uh, uh, gold, uh, gold uh, kalim, all kind of gold vessels, all kind of gold plates and gold, anything you can imagine. He says, listen, take something from here, take a souvenir, take a, you know, something. He says, he says, uh, no, 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 I have so much gold things in my house. I'll show you when you bring me back. I'll show you. I have a lot. He t- takes him into the next room. And this room is, is, was filled with, with silver, Caleb. Silver, all silver, sterling silver. He takes him into sterling silver. He says to him, no, so take maybe something from silver. Maybe take a nice becher. Maybe take a nice, you know, a, a, a goblet. So you'll make it for Kiddush. You know, you take something. Yeah, I know you don't need it, but uh, take something. He says, "No, I, 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 I have cups from from my family, and I, 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 I don't need it. I don't need it." So he says, "Okay, oh, fine. Let's go to another room." He takes him into another room, and in this room, he opens up the room, and this room was filled with brass keys, keys, all kind of keys hanging on the wall, all kind of keys. A room full of keys. Could you imagine that, Ernie? Imagine a room full of keys on the walls. Right? You know, people have a key box, right? They're a little key box. They put the keys in it, right? Or a key drawer, right? This guy had a whole room full of keys. <laughs> the Mayal walked into this room and he almost fainted. He almost fainted when he walked into this room. The Mazik asked him, What? 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 I, I, I took you into a room that had diamonds. I took you into a room that had gold. I took you into a room that had silver. Now I take you into a room that has keys and now you're in the spoil? Now, now this is moving you? What? He says, no, 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 no. I see that these keys are the keys, all the keys to my storehouses, to my treasure box, in my house. This demon had all the keys 
to his storehouse, to all his barns and, and everything. He had all the keys. So the Mazik looked at him. This guy looked at him. And he said to him, I know that you're a big tzaddik. I know that you're a big tzaddik. He said, and I have to tell you the truth, he said. I didn't want to do this, but I have to tell you the truth. He said, I'm not really a person, he tells him. I'm really a mazik. I'm a demon. And I could have had hold on you, but obviously you're a big tzaddik, and because you're a big tzaddik, I wasn't able to take a hold on you. So he says, I want to tell you something. You know that you, 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 all your life you're a Thompson, you're a cheapskate, right? You're a cheapskate. You can't give any money to anybody. I want to give you all these keys because I was holding you back. Me, the ma, me, I, the demon, was holding you back from giving the money from that you wanted to give, but you weren't able to because I locked everything up. So you weren't able to give anything. So I'll give you back the keys. And said the Kavayosha brings the story. And after this, this guy, this mile, he mamish became a big, big, big Baal Tzedakah. He did everything well. So when Rashi says, Yivarechecha Hashem is b'maman v'yishmerecha is minamazikin. Now we see a story. What does it mean minamazikin from the demons? You should be protected. You should be protected from who? The demons. Because any time we have a, a midah of stinginess in us, that we don't want to give, that we're worried, oh, if I give another if I give another hundred dollars, oh, what's going to be? I won't have enough money. They, they, all of that thing, all that stuff that goes on in our minds, right? We get worried. We get worried. Why are we worried? All the money comes from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us everything. HaKadosh Baruch gives us everything. So we have to understand, when we hear the words, Yivarech Hashem, Yivarech Hashem, you say, HaKadosh Baruch let me have the money. V'yishmerech min amazikim, let me be able to give the money. Let me be able to give the money. We know that the money that we, we have in the bank, you know, we can have a lot of money in the bank, right? And, you, you know, people are proud, they look at their bank statements, and they're very proud when they see their statements, right? Some people have, you know, they can even have billions of dollars in their bank account, Right? Who could spend that? Who could spend who could spend a billion dollars? Right? What are they gonna buy already? What are they gonna buy? Another house, another car, a plane. What are they gonna buy? You can't spend a billion dollars. Right? It's too much. It's too much. But they need the money. They need it. No, I need two billion. He needs four billion. He needs ten billion. Why, 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 what are you gonna do with it? But, but, but we understand what money do we really have? is the money that we earn that, that's eternal, that's an eternal investment. And what is that when we give the tzedakah? When we give tzedakah, that's an eternal investment. That's money we take with us. You know, they say, Ernie, you can't take your money with you, right? They say that, right? But the money that you give for tzedakah, that money you take with you. Those chusim, those merits that you gave, that you, get, that you earned yourself by giving that money those chusim that you take with you, that's yours forever. That's yours forever. So when we say, V'rech Hashem, Hashem should bless you with the money, V'yishmerech from the mazikim, this is what we're talking about. This is what we mean. So just to, to, to sum the whole thing up, that if we understand, if we understand the first stanza of the brach, and then we say, Yor Hashem, Pana Ve'lecha, V'chunecha. How is Hashem going to be Yor, Pana Ve'lecha, if we are working together? If HaKadosh Baruch Hu sees that we have an achdos amongst ourselves, if we have an achdos, if we have unity amongst Kalal Yisrael, that causes Hashem to shine His countenance on Kalal Yisrael. And how is HaKadosh Baruch Hu going to give us the bracha? Again, through purity. Like we said, by, we said with the Kahanim. The Kahanim are on a special level. The Kahanim have special rules of who they can marry, what relationships they're allowed to have. Different than Yisraelim. Different than Yisraelim. The Kahanim are on a different level. We have to understand that they're on a different level, the Kahanim. And because the Kahanim are on a different level, they have holiness with them. They're holy people. They're holy people. And because they're holy people, they're worthy people to give bracha. They're worthy to give over the bracha because of their holiness. And they teach Kalal Yisrael to be holy as well by showing example. 
by the example, to make us a clea that's that, that's moxic bracha, the key that can hold, that we can hold, that we can hold on to the bracha. This is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants. He wants us to be able to hold on to the bracha. So how do we do that? Again, through Shmira Seinayim, what we see, Shmira Seinayim, what we hear, Shmira Saper, what we eat, how we eat, what we say. This is all part of it. And one beautiful idea, we can, we can close with this, we say every day in the, in the Kriya Shema, don't chase after your, your heart's desire or your eyes. Don't, after, don't, don't do that. Why? They're going to cause you to do strange things. They're going to cause you to go off. Don't listen to what the heart says. Don't listen to what, don't pay attention to what the eyes want you to see. Why? Laman tizkiru. If you want to be able to remember your Torah, how are you going to remember your Torah the best? By Shmira Senayim. We watch what we see. If we watch what we see, and then we know that the the Enayim arose, Valev Chaymed, right? Chazal tell us, the eyes see, and then the heart desires. The eyes see, the heart desires. If we can hold back what the heart's desire, if we hold back, how do you hold it back? Via the eyes. Via the eyes. If we care for what we see. And again, that's how we can have the best we can be, that we can be the Kli to be accepting the Bracha. So just to finish off again, remember, any time we give money for Tzedakah, we're making an eternal investment. Okay? So thank you everyone for joining. I think we're out of time now. I think we're out of time now, and I don't want to go yes, over. Sorry. I don't want to go over. I know everyone has busy days, and they have a lot of things to do. So, shkoyach, everybody. I hope this was okay for everybody. Bye, yes,